Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Hey there, folks. My name is Shook, and I'm going to be playing this game called uh, Serena, as you saw. This is a her photo is adventure. right there. Maybe I could have another look. Yeah, her photo is right there. Now this is a, uh, this game is available on Steam for completely free. Um, go check it out if you're interested. It was made by a collaboration of, uh, several different people in the, uh, in the, uh, uh adventure game industry. Uh, and people who are big fans of it, so. Let's see what this is. Now this is supposed to be kind of a moody. Just one more try. I know, it's pointless, but I need to do it. Kind of depressing one. Uh, and also a bit of horror. So let's let's see what all happens. Oh, hello. Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? Yeah, that's not good. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. The things that keep us tired. Common sense and other lovely fairy tales. Yes, it is quite the fairy tale, isn't it? The greatest mystery of the antediluvian world. No clue what that is. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. Gordon hears some unpleasant truths about himself. By Josh Mandel, huh? I think they, they said that this is a voice actor in the game. I tried, did, I tried not to look up too much information because I didn't want to ruin it. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. <laughs> oh, how I met some great people and went broke. If they weren't that great of people. What's the picture? Lovely picture. Very, very friendly, making me feel... Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. Alrighty. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. I'm guessing this guy's wife died. I'm guessing is what, what the uh, story is Somewhere about. in here, in our private refuge, there must be something that reminds me of her. I would think so. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. Well, trinkets and papers, uh, I would say that's... It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. I would say that would be kind of important. Oh, what's the document? Come love with peace in your heart, said Naum of the Ass Blue Eyes. Ride with me, shed your mortal guise. Here's our mount. A snow white mare, come oisin to my gardens fair in, in the land of youth. By your art, ours, ours shall be the cycle of days, ours, 
sun and sky and rainbow ways sounds like a sounds like a very lovely poem or either something to do with uh, some sort of children's cartoon show come love with peace in your heart said Niav of the ice blue eyes oh hmm blue eyes oh does she have blue eyes it's based on an Irish folk tale warrior poet Oshin goes to Tirnanog a Celtic other world known as the land of youth and promise. So it's not a children's cartoon. Okay. Niav is of the fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. Kind of like My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Weird mix of doggerel okay. and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. True friends, st t true friends stand by each other through any adversity. Okay, kids in the bathtub. Nothing to do with there. Nothing to do with there. I'm thinking I don't want to step outside yet. I don't know why. I'm just thinking that. Our refuge from the world, a place of warmth and passion. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was, far out. Okay, let's look in this. Let's not look at the bed anymore. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. She is fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. Hmm. I made a she used to keep noise. magazines, paperback novels, usual stuff on these nightstands when we were staying here. So I'm guessing this is, I guess that this is a cabin they used to go Quite to. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. Doesn't. Okay. Hmm. She made this with her own hands. She was really good. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I made, hun. Whoa. In case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. Whoa, that kind of scared me right there. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. Hmm. No trap door under there, just more creaky floor. Oh, well that's what I was expecting. A trap door. I guess that'd be rather cliche. Okay, nothing under there. The magazines. Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to, every cabin needs one. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. Those spider webs are that just texture. I think those are spider webs. Yeah, it looks like it's been a while since they since anybody's been here, according to the mirror. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. So she was blonde haired and blue dyed. Blue dyed, yes, Hers. blue dyed. I used it too when shaving. Why do you use that? Why don't you use a big mirror? Just 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 wondering. Dearest, oh. how do I say any of this? 
I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you when we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. Okay. It's been so long since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her, when she told me the soothing sound of her name. Well, it's nice to know all these things now that we're pretty sure that she's dead. Hmm. I'm just curious what her pi if her picture has changed. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. Oh. Okay, hello, Serena. <laughs> okay. This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love... We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. Oh, okay, I see what he's mean. So, okay, how much time has passed here? Then, hmm. My love. Okay, I think... Okay. I'm guessing that we're going to slowly be remembering stuff. How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. That ticking, it never stops. Yeah, you're very right. It don't, does it? Let's check out the door. This is the thing that I haven't done. Why? Yet. We might just as well stay here. Oh, is that what I put off? I should uh, really stay. I'm so tired anyway. Okay, this, the sound effects and music is actually beginning to... Yeah. Begin to make this kind of quite a creepy feel. As always, I automatically went to the window side and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, the warm, passionate touch of her lips. But I can't sleep. It feels as if... Ages. 
There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. Okay. Hello, laughing voice. The curtain's kind of creepy right there. <laughs> I know it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Oh. Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. Maybe the maybe the chest. Perhaps. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. What once gave me so much joy now fills me with unbearable sorrow. We found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. That looks like a pretty cool trunk. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. We found this trunk at a flea market. Okay. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Oh, wait, did I look at the light? I didn't look at the light early. All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, simply looking in each other's eyes. Will we have them again someday? Looks different right there. I don't know. Or just my imagination. This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late with a bottle of wine and talk. Oh, how we talked. I sure hope she comes back soon. We can sit down and discuss our problems, uh, like we always did. We could always work things out. Oh. Hey, we've been here over another hour. Okay, then you can't look at any of this stuff over there. I didn't cook much for her. Always so worried about my stuff. Damn. I can't even remember what her favorite meal was. Without any activity, the corner feels cold and lifeless. So... Look, I said I would oh. do it. Will you just sit down over there? I'll make you something we can both enjoy eating. I'm guessing that he's in some sort of a denial or something, and we're having to bring him out of it. I'm I'd guessing. give anything to see her standing here again, making coffee or sandwiches. I made my own too, of course, but it just made me happy to see. When she was happy, she'd hum her favorite songs as she puttered around. I can't remember the last time. The stove looks like something from World War I. Considering how basic and ancient the kitchen is, it's a wonder what we manage to do with it from time to time. Well, she, mostly. Yeah, it does look kind of old, don't it? I think it dates from the colonial era, probably brought over by the pilgrims. Feeling peckish, dear? The stove looks like something from World War I. Okay, it looks like that's everything out. Do I just have to li make sure to listen to everything? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Maybe there's books here? Someone said, work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? I don't know, those are two quite different people. Did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so all-consuming for me, yet I made so little headway in all this time. Adventures of a Scary Bear. <laughs> Life and Death of a Kickstarter Addict. <laughs> Kleptomania, Big Pockets and Better Grabs. And that's why I'm single, a memoir. <laughs> I'm, I'm betting these are, are different, uh, these, these names are the, uh, different, uh, people who worked on the game, so. <laughs> yeah. 
It all seems so meaningless now, drained of everything that made it worth reading in the first place. 1001 uses, innovative uses for a piece of string. Hmm. Most That's of the books good. are mine, but all of hers are still here too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. <laughs> One more key card, then I'll ask Susie out. How Space Quest ruined my life. I never played Space Quest, but I'm betting that it had a lot of key cards. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. You don't want to lend that out. It'd be horrible if no one returned that. Most of the books are mine, but all okay, of hers so are still here, too. Okay, yeah, I read this one pretty well. Pedicrutor. Zombie space dinosaurs. From the deep ate my family. Oh, man, you're... You're pretty screwed if, zomb if you had to fight uh, zombies or aliens from space or dinosaurs. But you had to face all three at one time, so that's pretty bad. I'm almost there. But do I want to get there? I don't know, do you, dude? Do you, dude? The unfortunate life of a Chocobo stage. <laughs> stage, I meant. So you want to be a purple tentacle, okay? I don't really want to. The art of drowning. Many, many people died to bring you this information. A part of me is still hoping this is just a misunderstanding. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. What about me? When do I get to have my temper tantrums? Okay, test. Can Big I enough it? for a lifetime of mementos. No. Okay, what am I supposed to do? The pictures? Nothing with the pictures. When did we let this window get so gunked up? There didn't seem to be much reason to keep it clean. Just overgrown bushes outside, brambles and thistles. I should clean the cabin as a surprise, perhaps. Now, better wait until she gets back. I can make out nothing through this window. Okay, so he's thinking she's coming back. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm guessing he's just... I don't know what he's thinking. It's different, but that just, it can't be different. Wait, is she less happy than she was a minute Am ago? Am I going mad? Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Could I really have been so wrong about that night? She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb, beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? Okay, um... I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. Okay, this guy's taking a whole different tone too, though. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I'll torture myself trying to remember. I'm too upset to even think straight. Okay, I'm thinking of this. Is it just me or things looking a little bit less focused? That is the This chest is important. Ah, okay. As I said, it is important. Just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. Schmaltzy junk. 
the jewelry box. What is it doing here? He just took it, so... A shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, it used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Us. Is this where she kept her secrets? I should take a look inside. Where to put it? I should just destroy this useless junk, but not even the venom inside me gives me strength. So, uh -huh. I hate her so much. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Sounds like, uh, the feeling was mutual. She hated you quite a bit. I couldn't too. care less about I sit this here. damn thing. I... Okay, same deal. <laughs> I grabbed that jewelry box. Is that an important thing? Sit down, we need to talk. Oh. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... Oh. We weren't supposed to fight here. Ah. You know, it, what, what, was this growing this way earlier? It feels like it's different. Which would be quite a, an amusing... Quite an amusing thing when you think about it. Considering his... What he's feeling is different. Whoa, whoa. I torture myself yeah, trying to remember. Same. Whoa, oh, okay. Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. So, is she dead? Did they divorce? Did he kill her? Did she kill him? I don't know what's happening. No. No, I didn't do it. Oh, crap. I need to wake up from this nightmare. Okay. I'm too upset to even think straight. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. 
I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? I don't know. You were married to her, you tell me. I hate her so much. Okay. Um... Is that all? All of this... These... Yeah. Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. A part of me still thinks you'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope now. So... Uh... All the real color faded from it long ago. It must be full of dust mites. I should burn it. That's quite I different. told her the rug was fine work, like I know anything about handicrafts. But it's what the Empress wanted to hear, wasn't it? The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry, even. Whoa. Yes, angry is much more mad than mad. How could I be so inconsiderate? Did this stupid lamp destroy my marriage? I, I... I... I will fix it. In case she comes back. I haven't got any bulbs on me, and I didn't bring any tools. It, wait, what am I thinking? Why am I worrying about a stupid lamp? Besides, if you're really gonna worry about it, why don't you just buy a new one? Stupid, feeble-minded woman with her silly, menial things. It was she who didn't deserve me. I wouldn't waste my intellect on this... this sublunary distraction. She probably cared more for this plant than she cared for me. I couldn't care less about the... It's just a book. What good will reading a fairy tale do me? God has never been there for me when I needed comfort. Why would he want to go out of his mysterious ways to help me now? Okay, and still nothing in here. Am I being stupid? Am I'm clicking. Okay, it's two different doors. I don't see anything to do. Okay, maybe this one? No. Okay, I should say, if there's a dead body in here, I'm in the let's play right now, but okay, good. No. No! This isn't happening! Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this! <laughs> okay. Okay. The body! It's... No, I can't. Um, I can't escape this nightmare! So it looks like these are a bunch of tabs here, and there's some linens of various types. Uh, it's not very well lit. There is a nice little bar here to where you can conveniently hang up your linens of choice. Uh, oh, and the, and the door here, and the... Don't you love me anymore? And the, uh, oh, look at the bed, look at the bed, okay. My god. What is this? It can't. It isn't. Maybe, uh, maybe you should have did that trapdoor thingy that you was talking about. This that seems like a much more uh, good idea if you're going to hide a body. How did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? According to the clock, you've been here for quite a while. A long I can't even remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, no more, no more, um, no more magnifying glass. I remember 
remember stumbling on this more than once, but she always insisted it be kept here. She did it on purpose. You're no more clicky on there. Okay. Did he close it? Um, am I supposed to be getting out of here now? Those noises sound like more than one person. Who can it be? The police? Are they coming for me? I deserve it, but I want to see who it is first. Oh, there's people. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Whoa, wait. Wait a second. Hey. Oh, shit. We forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. Hey. Hey, I... No. I want my... Not I want like my this. guilt back. I felt guilt. Please. Hey. No. I want my guilt back. Man, I felt guilty for something I didn't do when you did me in. Aw, oh, man. What's up? <laughs> Alright. Well, that was a fascinating little game. Uh. Oh, okay. That music sounded like it's going like. Uh. Like in the Western. Okay, well, that was a very fascinating little game. Uh. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I did. A little twist there at the ending. Uh. <laughs> but, uh. Oh, man, that sounds really loud. Hopefully the audio isn't too bad, or too bad high. There wasn't any way I could adjust it. But anyway, yes, uh, if you enjoy this, go check it out on Steam. It's absolutely free, so give it a download to support the guys who made it. It's quite a pretty good game. Uh, hmm. All right, but anyway, that, that's the end of it. I'm going to let the credits roll, and that will be it. So, I will see you guys later.